Good morning and welcome to War Thunder's website. We're going to have a really brief uh, uh, dev blog this morning. The Chiha Long Gun. It was uh, first demonstrated and first announced in the dev server and on the, I believe it was also on the live stream. Basically, you take a uh, Chiha uh, tank chassis, you rip its turret off, you slam a 120mm uh, naval gun on top, and you call it a, uh, a tank destroyer. The Chiha long gun, uh, it's got a few other names, it goes by IJM uh, Type 97 long barrel, a couple other names, but there's, as far as I can tell, only one prototype ever built, and uh, when American forces entered Tateyama Gunnery School in Yokosuka, they discovered this particular uh, uh, Chiha tank. Uh, it was mounted backwards on the chassis, although obviously if we're fully rotatable, and it does say that it was in various places that it had a 360 degree rotation. Um, anyway, they mounted on the Type 97 Chiha chassis. Uh, it didn't have a casemate, didn't have any armor, no, nothing extra. Um, it's really not clear if this was a one-off uh, or a full-on prototype intended for longer production. Uh, you know, sources definitely vary on this one, especially since there is only one that was located. Um, they didn't seem to ad address any like armor piercing rounds. Stuck with the HE shells that were that were used in the 120 millimeter gun. Uh, you you know, take your pick on this one. Its advantages at 1.7, it's got a huge gun for the uh, for the BR. However, its ammunition choices. Uh, mean that you're going to be having to either fire for weak spots or manage to bounce the shot into the uh, enemy tank. Its uh, mobility was decent when we tested it on the uh, on the dev server, uh, but it only had 10 rounds of ammunition. So there's not a whole lot to say about this one except for exactly what you see, what you get. It's literally out there now in the. Uh, they do note that it was a if you fired it sideways it would flip itself over so rotating the gun fully to the side it would actually flip it on its side when you fired it even the uh firing it forward and re and to to the forward and the rear would cause extreme rocking of the tank so the limited arc of fire that the uh, that war thunder uh, addresses with the tank may be to mitigate the fact that if you fired it sideways, you would end up sideways. And that's kind of the long story short on it. It wasn't, uh, it was fairly, fairly mobile. Unfortunately, since it was uh, mounted, the gun itself was mounted to the right side of the chassis, much like the turrets on the Chiha tanks, uh, that meant that the right side's suspension tended to break down a lot from all indications. It also was a... Um, uh, it was never actually deployed in combat that we know of, but doggone it, imagine if they'd had a bunch of these things ready for the Americans when they landed. It wouldn't have changed the, the course of the war, uh, but it sure would have made it an even bloodier one to go through. And that's pretty much everything. I uh, hope you have a, you're have looking forward to this particularly unique uh, derp gun coming to War Thunder, and uh, we will see you on the battlefields and especially when the next patch arrives. Have a great day.